What's happening guys and welcome back to a Motorsport Manager. This is coming up to the race, eighth race of the season. And it's the round eight. Yeah, we've got 11 races this season, which I forgot about totally. The last one is in Vancouver, which we're in the European racing series and the last one's in Vancouver. Oh, fair enough. We have Mel. Voting has just started. Oh, we've been bribed for this one. Is there any way I can not use me vote? So we have to vote in favour. Let's just skip to the end of this. And I've wasted my times too. But I'd rather have the money at the moment. I'm getting low on funds. So, yeah, 15 dry try tourists next year. And our breaks are finished. So what I think I'm going to do is go to improve parts and I'm going to take off the reliability of this gearbox and just go for out and out working on the brakes here because I'm going to I've finished with I've done with the brakes now so we've come we've this season we've just built up from really no brakes at all to you know in the hundreds and suspension I'm going to worry about next year but I really do want to start getting another gearbox that's why I've gone for the performance increase on this one and the just the performance increase on the engine here as well for next season so if I look down where am I looking and design new part there we go and gearbox we've only got two spots so we need to unlock this great part here I'm going to go for that. Hopefully that will unlock slot 3. Performance up. Build that one. Here. Right, so we have some information. The thing for next race at Tondela. Uh, the part is finished. Design a new part. Let's go for another one. And I want to make it so I want that. I think these are going to be for next year. So let's make it a good bit, good one. We'll go for 25 to max. So this is one I'm going to build with the to unlock the slot floor. And then once I've done that, I'm going to build another one for adding this part on as well and acceleration will be you know <laughs> I mean this one is 291 performance and we get a plus 186 from base performance plus 3 from the designer and plus 55 from components so we'll build this acceleration is gonna be our strongest thing I think next year because we're still ninth in the overall on the grid in the, accel in the acceleration department. There you go. So we're all good for the next race. I'll swap you as well. Give you a little bit of a rest. So the rest of the guys can have a bit of a break. I'm coming up to near the end of the season now. Look at the sponsors. We're second best on sponsors. And a helipad is built. Oh, my God. Oh, I want to see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? No, we just can't. Oh. But these will upgrade. You know, next year we'll have a lot better car. Team marketability go up. Hopefully, Andre Gomez is marketability will go up, and you know, it'll be all good. We'll unlock them soon. Ooh, it's getting close okay so here we are we're on our way to Tondela I think high, high down force is uh, something that we need here I'm gonna leave that there because I do think oversteer will be crucial here 
And acceleration is crucial, I'm pretty sure of it. Medium tyres. Change the setup for you as well. We'll go for a bit more downforce back there, I think. It's all guessing at the moment, but oversteer and a more acceleration. I just want to change the tyres. Just want to change them. There you go. Take practice. Let's send out the cars. One quick lap just to see where we are. Bring them in. Oh, look at this. Lovely. So, I'm thinking more acceleration. So, it's okay. That would be. would that be? That'd be good, that'd be great, and then that'd be excellent. I'm gonna bring it back. I think I do. Hopefully Gomes. I'm gonna leave Gomes out and then bring in Bieland after. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna have to bring him in because I'm not too sure about it. I'm not too sure about it. I think I've gone the wrong way with Gomes on one thing. On the acceleration. No, I didn't. Could have left him out. Wouldn't need 99%. So I'm not going to mess around with this. He's fine to go out and get some times. Send out. I moved this the wrong way though. But that was good. That was okay. I don't can it's gotta be like that. There you go, get some times, lads. Got a thirteenth on the on the medium tire as well. Send him out again. Get more knowledge, get more knowledge. Get out of here, coming in. He is good, so we went the wrong way. Luckily, Lee. Luckily, we have enough time to change it. One click up as well on the tyre pressure. There you go, off you go. And we didn't manage to get the... Oh, we did. We might do. No. Just didn't manage to get the level 3. That's fine. Finished 12 for above for a bonus of 250,000. Let's do two different strategies, right? I'm going to go... Gomez can go on the faster tyre. Because he can make these tyres last. But Bielan will have to go a full race on the mediums. Let's do that. Gomes can attack all out at the start of the race. And Bielan, you can attack because you're on the medium tyre. And we'll go, just go out all out for the first lap. All out for the first lap. I have faith in Gomes to be able to make the soft tyre do well for him. Can't push too much though, so off we go for the start of the Tonto Le Grand Prix. Belliant is been overtaken. Someone's come off. I didn't see who it was. And Gomes is down to seventh. He started, did start in sixth. Belliant down in third, falling down the grid. Gomes up in a fourth. For, oh, I have to watch that back on the editing bit. <laughs> And Bieland in fifth as well. He, he's falling down the pack, but he's on the medium, so it's expected. Gomes in fourth. Good start. Good, but better start. It's a it's a decent start. Gomes taking 
Valdez for third position. And coming up on Rogers to take the second spot. Coming down, breaking into the first turn in. Oh, and he's got it. Gomes up into second place. Dreyfus in the lead. Yelan still in sixth. Not falling down as much as I thought he would be, but perhaps the other cars have turned down their engine modes. He did grab a spot, so he ain't lost a spot and he ain't gained a spot, which is good. Gomes is uh, flying away. I'm going to bring him down, though, to, I think, neutral. Yeah. And then we'll do the same with Bjelland as well. Because we did push a lot from them first to one and a half laps. I don't want to go too mad. We've, we've got a bit of clear track. So, you know, that's why I've gone down to that sort of engine mode. Save these soft tyres a bit as well. Well, an interesting start to the race. I say we have pushed Gomes and BLM for the first lap of the race. Should still have a decent... Yeah, engine's still at 100%, well, 96%. 93% for Gomez. And what's interesting is Bjelland, that he's not falling down as much as he used to. Like, as, as quick as he used to. And he's in 10th. Like, right. the beginning of this season, he was at the back. Well, both of us were at the back. We seem to be a bit more comfortable now. You know, I'm happy to just stick here in second. And not push too much. Might have to pit Gomes though soon. Both two, but two of our two drivers are on two different strategies here. Just bring Gomes back down a peg or two. Because it's the tire where to go first. So I can go up onto overtake with the engine. So here we go. Coming round for his in lap. And we're going to go push. Let's just go out with that attack. Should be, should be fine. And we'll select the pit. And he's going to go on a set of medium tyres, which we got the knowledge for. We have to go 18 laps, so... Oh, I did fill up. It'll be a long stint. We'll go for a fast pit stop, hopefully. Three seconds is a good time. A fair decent amount of time to save. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. It ties down to 31, down to 30%. Should get a warning now from Gomez. And his tyres are about to explode. <laughs> we can go down to 25. I am pushing quite hard to catch up with Dreyfus, whose tyres have gone. And so is ours, but you know that's what it is. And I'll just go down to medium, just, just, just so we don't go too slow into the pit lane there. Okay, so Beerland coming around. Let's push him into go into a, a faster mode. And I want to go a bit slower. Got to go conserve now. Let that tyre temperature fall off a bit and then we'll start pushing. I want to go quite long here as well, so I might go low engine mode for a bit. And then with Bjelland, I'm going to go push with the tyre where the tyres... Make sure I pit him as well, eh? Lucky I remembered that. Let's go for medium. We'll fill up 17 laps remaining. Go for a fast pit stop. Yep, Bjelland in 13th. Started off in 1st, but he's still in 13th position. Gomez has pitted and he's just behind him though. Look how far, much faster Gomez is. And Bjelland into the pits. Some of these people manage to keep them soft tyres. And I think, I really do think that we, we, we might be able to because they're, they're, they're all, all them tyres are falling off like nothing and some of them mediums are lasted just as long basically as the 
soft tyres. Yelan, you can come down. You've got to go low and conserve. But just being back to overtake, it's all right. I am saving tyres here. And I could start pushing a little bit though. I want to go quite long, Gomez here. I'll go push for a little bit on the fuel as well, just to bring up that temperature. And then go back down to cruise mode again. Another three laps and there's only ten laps left. So I could just go medium. And then go for the fast. I really do want to save it. I want to save it. Build the temperature back up a bit. So We're in sixth. We're doing okay. Just don't want that tyre to attempt to fall off too much. I don't know if that matters. I like to think it does. There's no really no way of telling. But I, don't, I don't like it. Get, I know you go a lot slower if it gets right down to the bottom. I do know that. So likewise if you overheat. And Gomez been overtaken by Rogers but we have the saved we have saved the tires so that's the main thing and I will continue to do that just in case we do really do need to push at the end so 83% cars looking okay could change the front wing in the pit and yeah could change Yelan's rear wing as well Gomes will be the first to pit, and I think when it's we someone has pitted, Dreyfus has pitted. Right, let's just play it from here. Have five laps, uh, ten laps left. Well, I can start pushing now, and then hopefully I'll have to come in around lap seventeen. Because I've fallen down to the cold temperature and so can Yelan push as his tyres are getting cold as well yeah now would be a good time to start going so we managed to do this race with one set of medium tyres and then the rest of the race will be on the faster tyre we have I think this is going to have to be the lap where Gomes comes in, so we'll go all out on everything here. And we'll go for the soft tyre. We'll have a bit of fuel left. So it'll be eight laps remaining. So yeah, the tyre should last for about ten, so we can give it give it some. We'll fill it up to roughly about there. I am going to fix the front wing. I think that do. Fast pit stop. There we go. And what position will we come down to? In the pit. No mistakes. Come on, boys. Get it right. Get it right. Change the front wing. Get that done before the refueling. Nice. Excellent. Let's take down these and go to conserve. And we come out in 14th. Yelan can start pushing and he wants, he wants to go onto the soft tyre as well. Can he make it? Six to eight laps is going to be a tight one. I'm going to go for nine laps of fuel so we can compensate with the lack of pushing with tyres for speed on the engine. And I am going to fix the rear wing. 49. 53, so the front wing needs to go for a fast pit stop. And I am going to just do that down to conserve because I don't think he'll be able to make it round without coming, going into the red on his tyres. No mistakes, no mistakes, no mistakes. Nice, front wing's changed, refueling is done, excellent. You're landing. Back out in 18th. 
Holmes is in ninth, but people still need to pit to play it. And I'm gonna go back down to normal for the time being. Engine mode is still at 77. You know what? I said I was gonna push, I am gonna go for high. But I'll keep the tyres down to conserve for a bit. I'm gonna go for high for Gomes as well. Keep the tyres down to conserve. I'm just gonna move them up to medium. In fact, D is better. Oh, we're at 84%, so no, I don't. Uh, I've got to go conserve. Moved up into eighth position. Gomes has Tyler on his ass, but he's just overtaking him. Uh, no, yeah, we ain't gonna be able to do it. Don't worry. And we have the other Eastwood Motorsport car coming up behind us as well, which we ain't going to be able to contend with. Lap 21 in 8th position, 12th position is here. So, you know, looking good. Just want to get that, get that sponsor payout and I'll be happy. Okay, Gomes is fighting with the car. If that's mellow, isn't it? No, we need to overtake him, really. But I don't want to do it because of the wear situation here. I'm not. I'm going to leave it until the last laps. Okay, let's speed it up. We got a little battle there for tenth and ninth spot. Battling with the Eastwood Motorsport car. There's a car coming up. No, it's... That's another fast team. So we lost. We're down, we're down to 11th. And another car is coming up behind us. So we really do need to start thinking about making a attack. But I ain't gonna. I can't afford to do it yet. We're on lap 23. Maybe after two laps, and he's taken a spot. We're up to 10th. So now, I've got to go for it. I've got to push. I need to start attacking so I don't fall to 12th place. We have two laps left. I ain't got to worry about the tyres overheating, it's just whether they can last. I suppose one good thing, so that's on the median in 12th, hopefully he won't be able to overtake and Dreyfus is in 19th, he should be able to get Dembele in 18th, his tyres are finished, I'm going to move him down though to higher engine oh, no he can go and overtake come on get past him man oh, he's in 10th he's, oh, he's he overtaking someone oh, Christ I don't know we're on the last lap so go for it attack try and get another couple of spots mate I'll let ya this guy here in 9th might be able to get 9th No, just can't make it. Just can't make it. I'm around the last bend. Tyres about to fall off. Couldn't have timed that any better though. And we managed to finish in tenth position, reaching our spots of target. Happy, happy, happy. And we just can't get past this last car. And the tyres have fallen off. And yeah, we limp home across the line. Get land there. Just couldn't get past that Dembele. And <laughs> he was on the faster tyre and his tyres were gone. So we might need to think about getting a new driver here. So there we go. Andre Gomez finishing in 10th position. Yelan down it in 19th. Disappointing race for him. 
future drivers here have been demoted. Um, must have had a penalty of some sort, and we are in ninth position now. We are back into our ninth position. We started the season in after the first race, so we're doing a lot better than ZRT Auto Sport there. One of well, our main rival. There we go. That's the results. Made three hundred and eighty-two thousand pound that race. Continue and let's get the sponsorship. What was that? Okay, sponsorship. We have a dilemma here. Our sponsors have been rather disappointed with the hospitality you have put on this season. In fact, we are getting a bit of a bad reputation. It makes and it's making us seem rather less attractive to major companies. Could you get one of the drivers to put a few extra appearances over the race weekend to impress the sponsors? Right, so I need to do this one really, don't I? Otherwise, I lose 30% 30, 30 team markability, which I can't afford. I'm gonna have to do it. Just buy more champagne. No, I'm gonna go for this and maybe just maybe no we didn't didn't team markability those a hundred percent now that's just Andre Gomez that's letting us down no still we're at a hundred percent markability for our team though so do we need a hundred percent markability for Gomez as well I don't know how we get the third level. Heliped in the HQ will unlock. Yeah, but. You need like 90% markability or something. I think it's. I reckon it would be 90. I reckon it would be 90%. Right, guys, I think that would be the end of the episode. Next time, we'll be visiting Milan in Italy for the Milan GP. Hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button in the lower right corner. And also check the link in the description for the Cosa Perks Discord. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Cosa, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. That's good.